What mother couldn't talk at length for hours about this subject? I will endeavour to keep it brief. In pregnancy, you reached the third trimester by week 28. I gave birth at week 29. Mine started off with me writing a very specific birth plan with how my birth was going to go. Oh, how naive I was back then. It's the best way to describe my birth experience is that um, it didn't quite go to plan. I was petrified of labour. And as it turns out, I knew nothing about labour or giving birth. When I was pregnant, I knew that I was going to have a water birth, I did natal hypnotherapy, didn't go to plan. And I remember I had a midwife, she said, please, please, please read this book before you make your decision. And it was called 12 Positive Birth Stories. And I remember just looking at her being like, why are there only 12? My birth plan was basically just get the baby out of me and do it safely. I knew I was in labour that day because I stood up and my waters just went everywhere. Contractions started and it was fast. I decided against having any pain relief, just didn't need it, didn't really know what to do. I could just let my body take over. My due date was the 5th of December and I went into the hospital to check out some mysterious tummy pains on the 18th of September. Now these tummy pains turned out to be contractions. I was tired and I was in pain. If they'd said to me, you're gonna have a C-section right now, I'd said, that's fine. Complete opposite to my birth plan. You're lying there and there are just people running around. And Sophia was over at the side, sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to get emotional and be really stupid on camera. I was just really scared. And I remember turning to Andrew and saying, please, if, if I don't make it, just take care of her. God. I got to hold him for probably two minutes and then he got taken away again while I was stitched up which took almost an hour. But the nice thing was um, Jay, my partner, got to have skin to skin with him, bless him, um, and that was really sweet to watch but I was like aching to hold my boy. Um, that actually makes me feel upset. Um, but I, I can't talk, I find it really hard to talk about. Instead of me getting to hold him, Ollie was taken to the other side of the room. So sad to see him like that because I couldn't see his eyes or much of his face and he was covered in all these wires. He was just wrapped up in an orange towel because, you know, we were quickly running out of towels and sheets and everything. I wasn't prepared for a home birth when he was so tiny. And, um, just, it's just overwhelming love. He was just perfect. And um, he was just looking up to me with his huge eyes, and it was just amazing. Holding him for the first time and watching my hands shake with adrenaline and getting to meet this little person who I'd had like a little secret relationship with for so long was undoubtedly the best, best moment of my life. Oh gosh, I'm getting emotional. Giving birth is incredible. It's this insane thing that women all over the world go through. It's empowering, it's incredible, and whether you needed any extra help or anything, it's it's pretty amazing. Your baby is just, it just makes it so worthwhile and I would do it a million times over. This is what you get at the end of it. You get a cheeky, cheeky monkey like this. Um, he makes my life amazing every day. And this is the first photo that I ever had taken of my little baby. And this is that little baby now. Yeah, and how old are you now? I'm just only three on my birthday. Every birthing experience is different. No matter how much pain, stress or worry you're in, you've created a life and that is one of the most special things in the entire world. I've forgotten the pain and even after all that drama, I'm ready for round two. I don't think Nate is, but give it time. Channel Mum are asking us to share our birth stories and we would also love to hear yours. Everybody's got a story to tell. If you want to check out some more birth stories then head over to Channel Mum because I know lots of ladies are giving their birth stories. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz. Bye!